Hello, Leo. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. We have a diamond. Diamond here. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Comes in certain shapes or forms. We don't know what shape or form it's going to come in. So hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. So there might be a holiday on the horizon that might come out the blue. But um, you're needing to take a break here, definitely. And we have lobster, financial pinch. So you could be finding financial situations just a wee bit tight, money a wee bit tight just now. If this uh, you know, reading starts to resonate, please like, share and subscribe. Spirit, please show me clearly the guidance for this reading or this message that you've gave us today. So there's a financial pinch. You might be saving up to get that holiday that you're needing. You know, you might have to tighten your belt here if you want to get that holiday you're needing. It might do you good to get away mentally or physically. It doesn't have to be far, but just away from the door, even for a, a weekend or something, a couple of days, um, because it might help you mentally as well. The Emperor, Aries Energy. The King of Cups. The Judgment Card. Page of Wands. Uh, the Lover's card, which is overall central energy, which is Gemini energy. Five of Cups. Now, this can mean choices as well. It doesn't need to be lovers. It's choices. Five of Cups. The Tower card. Yeah. The Hanged Man. The Three of Cups. Now, there's been a Tower moment here. And a Tower moment is anything you consider a Tower moment to be. It can feel like the lug's been pulled from under your feet and it's caused a lot of upset in your life. It can feel if everything, as if everything that's familiar is being taken away here. So the universe has stepped in and released you from something. Now, this could cause financial, um, you know, it could cause you financial uh, difficulties uh, or it could be that you're needing to take a break and you might need to hold on to your finances so that you can, you know, do that take a mental break or physical break. But whatever this is, is the universe has stepped in to release you because you've been stuck in something that no longer serves you. Now, it's because the universe is trying to inspire you to go down a new path. This is you being inspired. There's a new idea that you may have here or that you're going to be taking up. Now, this is choosing a new path, but it's choosing as well to look at the bigger picture. Now, it can feel as if you're out of control. You, you can feel like that. This is definitely a tower moment. We can feel like that as humans that we're totally out of control. And it's obviously going to cause you some sort of upset. There's upset and disappointment here. But we can't do anything about this. We can't refill these cups, sadly. So fives are change. We need to look at the bigger picture here. We, we must understand that this tower moment was to happen for a reason. And it, it might become clearer as you go further down the line. It's very difficult at this moment in time to see the tower moments as blessings or to even consider the fact that something better is ahead. But tower moments happen because there's something better out there for you. And Spirit wants you to experience it. They want you to experience it because they want you to be able to build your own empire here. Now, there's something coming your way. You're going to be blessed with something. Now, some people say a tower moment's a blessing, but I feel it's something more than that. Um, but what Spirit's saying is we need to come into the present and see our blessings in the present, and that is so difficult to do. So we need to choose to let these disappointments go. I mean, we're going to take time. It doesn't just happen overnight, but it'll take time. And we need to make some judgment calls here. Now, it could be in relation to finances. It could be in relation to taking a break, like I say. Um... We might need to tighten our belt somewhere or other. But through doing this, you're going to be given a gift. There's going to be a reward for doing this. And if you trust and believe in spirit and the, the fact, if you can look at this from a different perspective and say, right, OK, this has happened. It's crap. I'm not happy with it. I'm disappointed and I'm fed up and it's caused me distress. But I know that the universe and spirit have a plan, a sacred plan for me. If we can try to start to think that way, we'll start to be inspired and we'll start to see the path forward. Because it's definitely to get you onto a new path. It's definitely there's something better out there. You're going to be rewarded for working your way through this tower moment. There are rewards for it in life. 
but it's difficult to see it that way. He feels as if you're totally out of control. Now, what's happening here as well is he is learning, and if I say he or she, it's not a gender-specific reading. I'm talking about the energies on the cards, but he has learned a lot of lessons here. You've learned a lot of lessons. So there could be a light bulb moment. There's going to be a light bulb moment here where you're going to make a judgment call to go down this new path because there's a new opportunity that's going to come along. Now, your judgment call is based on past knowledge and you've got that past knowledge. So it could have been that you were going through deja vu type situations and nothing was improving, you see. It could be that somebody from your past comes back here as well. If there is, please base it on past knowledge. Because Spirit is wanting you to think about your how you're going to bring growth back into your life. So, you know, if there's somebody from the past here that was a romantic partner, it might be a new opportunity here to take up a new venture. But that's your intuition. We're not, this is only guidance. Um. This person could be somebody coming back from your past that was younger now, but has come back very, very well established. It could be somebody who's matured. It could be somebody, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. It could be a Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. It could be a Gemini energy. Take your pick. <laughs> but this could be somebody from your past coming back that's matured now that's more established in life, that's built an empire for themselves, they're very disciplined, they're very respected, and they've achieved something. And this could be your gift. It could be for some of you. It doesn't have to be that for everybody, of course. This could be you choosing to get onto that new path here and being very happy with it and being very disciplined in the way you go about yourself. So I think there could be a new way of doing things is here as well for some of you. It's almost like you might have learned from past experiences here that there's a better way of doing things. And this new opportunity that comes along or you're prepared to put your efforts into now that you're inspired to, to take up, you're going to, you're going to be prepared to um, put everything into it. I feel as well that you're ready to... You're ready to... Um, I'm trying to get the words because I can feel the feeling. It's like everything prior to this has been half-hearted. And that's why it's never been successful. But you know that. I think you're prepared now to, to make money. You're prepared to invest in yourself. If there's been financial pinches in the past, you're fed up with them. You're prepared to be disciplined. You're prepared to work. You're prepared to apply yourself here. And I think that's where your rewards are going to come from. I think you've learned that what you were investing in, you weren't enthralled with. It was half-hearted. You probably weren't even applying yourself that well. If I can say that, I'm getting that feeling. But this is all going to change. Things are going to change. There's going to be a massive change within you. Your attitude, the way you're seeing life in general, I feel that you're going to see life through a to totally different set of eyes. It's like I've learned my lesson. I know what I was doing wrong here. Now I've got that light bulb moment and I'm ready here to take up this new opportunity that I enjoy and I'm ready to go for it and I'm putting them all into it. And that's what I feel is happening here, Leo. And I feel here as well, you're going to be very happy. You're going to be very mature. You've got a much more mature attitude towards uh, applying yourself to things. That's what this is. That's what I feel with this. You're more mature in the way that you're applying yourself to things. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, you realise there's blessings there. You're wanting to make good choices for yourself. You want to go towards happiness. You're ready to pound forward. You're fed up being stuck. You're ready to make decisions now. You're going to bring a childlike joy back to your life. It's almost like there's a new excitement. But this is definitely about a new approach to how you apply yourself to things in relation to being successful. So take time out. You'll need a break, possibly, from this tower moment. Most definitely, most people do. Take time out to heal, to recover, to reflect, to look at things. There's going to be an epiphany moment. And I do feel that you're going to have a new zealous for life, a new zeal for life. And you're ready to build. You're ready to apply yourself to things. Skills. Skills, you see. It's time to learn some new skills. Study a course or start a new hobby. This is a new inspired idea. And you're ready to put all your efforts into it. Music. Music. Express yourself by playing an instrument or singing. Music will lift your spirits. Do anything that lifts your spirits that inspires you. Anything. 
I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.